All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about something pretty sad to see honestly. I don't know if you guys watched Drake and Josh growing up or if it was even really a part of your life ever, but while I was growing up Drake and Josh was a huge show, right? And uh, pretty much everyone I know watched it at least from what I know. I mean, people talked about it at school all the time. It, it was just a big deal. People watched it. I liked it, of course. It was just one of those shows that like kids my age were just into, you know what I'm saying? And it's pretty much left, I would say, a little bit of a legacy to the point that, like, even people involved in the show had successful careers beyond that, right? A lot of the times, you know, some people end up, like, one-hit wonders or whatever. They have a really good show that pops off, they do good on it, and the next thing you know, you never really hear of them ever again. But that was never the case with this one, man, and it's kind of sad to see this all play out and see that somebody could do something like this and, and be in the position that they were, and just overall seeing everything that's unfolded here, it definitely is a little bit of a shock, but Jared Drake Bell, who played Drake in the hit Nickelodeon TV show Drake and Josh, is facing charges in Cuyahoga County. Bell, 34, is charged with disseminating matter harmful to juveniles and attempted endangering children. Fox 8 News has learned that he allegedly engaged in an inappropriate chat with the victim that at times was sexual in nature. The alleged incident happened on December 1st, 2017. Court documents show the Cleveland Division of Police was the arresting agency but does not say when he was arrested. According to the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office, the victim, 15, filed a report with her local police department in Canada in October 2018 regarding an incident involving Bell that occurred the previous year in Cleveland. Officials say Canadian authorities contacted Cleveland police who conducted an investigation into the allegations. Now this is kind of a confusing mess because obviously some time has passed since these incidents happened and we're also now talking about an international case. Proceedings and charges and things like that in Canada can vastly differ even to a single US state like Ohio here. Because even here in the United States, the laws aren't completely applicable 100% across the board. Obviously, there's a lot of state laws that don't carry over to other areas. And when you're talking about, you know, international borders and things like that, it, it definitely kind of, I would say, muddies up a lot of cases, right? Because, well, I mean, even in this situation, right, where you would think that the law is pretty much universal... There could be those, like, small things that kind of provide hiccups in the case, but this is absolutely fucking insane, man. I mean, we're talking about the person who played Drake in Drake and Josh has basically been caught sexting minors and charged, like, has actual charges on his name, disseminating matter harmful to juveniles, attempted endangering children. These are very serious charges, too. These aren't anything to really be playing around with. Like, this is definitely quite a serious case. Now, obviously, Drake and Josh was a show that was kind of aimed towards children slash teenagers, right? It was on Nickelodeon. The humor and the style of the show definitely catered to a younger audience, I would say. So, unfortunately, is it really a surprise? Because it seems like in a lot of these instances where these people get caught, like, with these inappropriate relationships with minors, like, their career choice or some element of their life seems to play, like, a big role around children, right? I mean, we've seen, like, Minecraft YouTubers, now we've seen Drake from Drake and Josh, internet celebrities and influencers, right? Like, th these are people who their careers kind of cater more towards a younger audience. Not necessarily always, like, children, but definitely to a younger audience overall. The investigation reportedly revealed that the victim had established a relationship with Bell several years prior. She then attended his Cleveland concert in December 2017. At that concert, quote, Bell violated his duty of care and in doing so created a risk of harm to the victim, the prosecutor's office reports. The investigation also revealed that months leading up to the concert, Bell allegedly sent the victim inappropriate social media messages. Officials say he has since been charged with attempting, endangering children, a fourth degree felony, and disseminating matter harmful to juveniles, a first degree misdemeanor. Bell's mugshot taken at the Cuyahoga County Jail is dated Thursday, June 3rd, just before 3 p.m. Court documents show that Bell appeared in Cuyahoga County Court Thursday at that time. He entered a not guilty plea and was freed on a $2,500 personal bond. Bell agreed to have no contact with the alleged victim in the case. Bell, who also goes by Drake Campana, tweeted that in October of 2017, he was scheduled to play Cleveland's The Odeon Concert Club on December 1st, 2017. As of Friday afternoon, it appears that the tweet has since been deleted. So he has been arrested and charged, right? Like, it's not like this is one of these typical, it seems like, situations with, like, these social media influencers and whatnot where someone will just kind of come out on TikTok and accuse them of it and then nothing happens beyond maybe, like, an, a, sh a shitty apology video or something like that, right? Th this is serious. We're talking about jail time, possibly. 
On the endangering children charge at the fourth degree felony, that is punishable from 6 to 18 months in prison, which is up to a year and a half, and might even include a $5,000 fine. And that's not the only charge right now. Honestly, I think that this is, like, too light of a punishment, right? Like, I think if we build up all the context clues here, like, this child could have actually been severely hurt, right? Like, apparently this kid went to this concert of Drake's. Drake Bell, that is, right? And this investigation says that this child had an established relationship several years ago. Like, the potential for harm to this kid is pretty severe. Like, they were literally at one point at the same place, right? I mean, it's pretty insane to think about when you really think about it. I mean, I feel like a lot of the times people don't expect these kinds of things from people like this who, you know, they start in these shows or whatever, right? Because... There's no way that could possibly happen, but I mean, when you look at all of the details of this case, like, they have this long-established relationship, nasty messages getting sent, they're attending this guy's concerts, like, that. that's just really messed up to think. A pre-trial hearing is scheduled for June 23rd via Zoom. Fox 8 News has learned that Bell is expected to enter a plea of no contest or guilty to the Bill of Information. Bell was asked to submit DNA, which is a standard practice in Ohio. Drake and Josh aired from 2004 to 2007 with several spinoffs. Bell has continued to do voice work and released several albums for which he has toured nationwide. Now that's the thing about this, right? We're not talking about somebody whose career just kind of like fizzled out, right? And he he's a person of the past. Like this is someone who has had continual success even after this show. Like, yeah, obviously the show is the highlight of his career, especially thus far. And... When you think of this guy, like, you're pretty much always going to think of Drake and Josh, like, if you really know anything about him. But it's not like this guy has done nothing. I mean, even in this case, like, this person was going to one of his concerts, which I didn't even know bro was doing music. I didn't know he was, like, doing voice work or anything. I thought he was one of these one-hit wonders whose career kind of fizzled out. And that wasn't the case at all. Like, he's had continued success in, like, the ability to get close to kids like this and do things like this that he's now charged for. So... That's kind of what took me by surprise for the most part in this entire thing, right? Like, I would have never have thought that he was still even relevant and that this would be something we'd see. But this is his mugshot, by the way, which was the thumbnail of the video, too. Am I the only one who thinks that this looks weird, right? Like, he obviously has aged and whatnot. He doesn't look the same as he did when he was filming Drake and Josh. But, like, in this picture, bro looks like an antagonist in, like, a Call of Duty game or something, right? Like, he's... Just got, like, I don't know, he's got this vibe about- This picture's just fucking cursed. Like, there's something about this that throws me off. Like, dude just looks guilty of something, man. Like, he just- I don't know. Obviously, this is gonna go through the court system or whatever, and he's gonna be tried, and he's either gonna be felt, found guilty or not guilty or whatever. I think with all the evidence that the police have, he's probably going to be found guilty. I don't really see a way out of this for him. I mean, for real though, like, they caught him in 4K, like, they've got the inappropriate chats or whatever, they've linked up the dates in which everything happened, they've got the other police report filed in Canada, like, it just, it seems like this is gonna be a probably open and shut case, I mean, I'm not really seeing a way for him to fight this case off, but anyway, with that one being said, thank you guys for watching, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubToptimus, make sure to check out Shop Opti down below, and until my next video guys, this is Optimus, well, Honestly surprised by the news and signing out.